Now the last part of this lesson is about multi-lens systems. So that means l systems that have got more than one lens. Now when you have more than one lens, what you need to do is uh, separately look at each uh, lens. So, and go by steps. You start with the first lens, do the calculation for the first lens, then you move on to the second lens, and so forth. So I'll show you, the best way to show you how this is done is using actually an example, uh, which is question four from worksheet nine. So please pay attention and copy it to your notebook. This is quite lengthy, uh, not because it's a hard problem, it's just because it's a long problem, which is something slightly different. But the method of solving it, it's pretty straightforward. It's just that we need to keep attention uh, for uh, about what we are doing. Now the question shows this. Oh, now we one looks at, at this uh, at this diagram and uh, we want to weep, but not so much actually. We've got here. Let's, so let's let's start uh, doing things slowly. So we've got here two lenses. I've got L1 and L2. So this is also the same kind of thing you will have for your task um, in your assignment for P6. So you need to be able to tackle this. So we've got here the two lenses, as I said, and there's a bunch of information uh, flying around here. Now, the important thing is uh, to notice that everything starts here with this object here. So you see object one, that's the object of the first lens. Now the that object actually will generate an image, which is also shown here, it's image one. It's a virtual image because it's an image before the lens itself. And then that image of the first lens will actually act as the, let me show this in a slightly different color, will act as the object for lens number two. And that object then will generate an image. So the question is about this. How, what are the properties of the last image? The size and the, the position given the properties of the first object. Now, um, information that we've got here, just to highlight, is the distance of the first object to the first lens. Also, we've got the focal length of the two lenses. One is a diverging lens, the first one, minus 15 centimeters. Second one is a converging lens, plus 30 centimeters. And then finally, we've got an extra information, which is actually very relevant, which is the distance between the two lenses. Now, the best way to tackle this, as I said, is try to de deconstruct this into first uh, number one lens, and then number two lens. So calculate everything to uh, with lens number one to find what is the image of lens number one. And once we do that, then we use that image of lens number one as the object of lens number two. So we do this separately in lenses. So let's do this slowly. First, let's just get rid of all, all the things here, all the numbers, and, we, and let's just focus on lens number one. So I just delete lens number two, and suddenly I see, say, uh, something which is not that, that hard. See, there you go. You've got the object here, and then you've got the image over there. Uh, now the object, I've got the ray diagram for the object, so this will be ray number one. So this is diverging lens, don't forget. So goes goes straight and then diverges off going through the focal point over there. So that will be the two the two focal points. And then ray number two is a ray which is directed, so going through the tip of the object, directed towards the focal point on the other side. But as it hits the, the um, uh, as it hits the uh, the lens, it will then continue horizontally straight. Okay, so th this is essentially what we need to 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 do first. So let's find everything about this first image, the image of lens number one. So that's what we're going to do. Now let's start by writing the information that we do have is I know two things about this this object. First, that the distance of this object is I was given this, it's 25 centimeters. And also the height of this object. I will keep the subscript one there, so object one, which is 12 centimeters. It's written on 
Also, another thing which is important is the focal length of this of this first lens, which is minus 15 centimeters. So, the the path here will be first using the thin uh, the thin lens equation to find the distance for. So let me write on the other side the distance for image one. So that's the first thing we're going to try to find out with the thin lens equation. So let's get to it. Now, thin lens equation says 1 over focal length, so that's lens 1, equals 1 over distance to the object plus 1 over distance to the image. Now, the object's got positive um, distance. Yes, it's right because the object is before the lens. Fine. Um, and also the focal length is negative because we have a diverging lens. So this will come as 1 divided by minus 15 equals 1 divided by 25 plus 1 over distance to the image. Now 1 divided by minus 15, if we do the calculation, will be minus 0 0.06667, might as well just use four digits there, and one. 1 divided by 25, that's easy, that's 0 0.04. Um, so the equation here at this point stands as minus 0 0.06667 equals 0 0.04 plus 1 over distance to the image 1. Uh, now I need to get this 0 0.04 to the other side, so if it's adding on this, I will subtract from the other side, so it'll be minus 0 0.0. 6667 minus 0 0.04 equals 1 over distance. And these two added together, that's also a simple calculation. That's minus 0 0.1067. Uh, yeah. Which means then that finally distance to the image number 1 is, you know, distance of image number 1 is. My, uh, it's sorry, 1 divided by minus 0 0.1067, that is minus 9.375 centimeters. We are using centimeters. So let me get that there. So, first step done. Distance of the image to this first lens. Great, that's 9 minus, actually, 9.375 so solutions are actually okay now it's a negative value because we are uh, we can see that the image is before the lens so it's in a position that we don't expect therefore the distance of the image will be a negative number according to the rules we've seen before now, next step is calculate the magnification factor. So that's because we want to calculate so the height of the image. So that's the next step. So first thing is we calculate the magnification factor using the two. So that's one of the things. So next next point is magnification factor of this first lens. And we use it with the distances because those are the things that we know. So it's minus distance of the image divided by the distance uh, sorry, of the object 1, so that minus distance of the image is minus 9.375 divided by distance of the object, that's 25. And when I do this, so the 2 minus, they will uh, cancel out and I get 0 0.375, so that's my magnification. On the other hand, magnification is also the ratio between the two heights. So height of image divided by height of the object. Uh, so therefore, uh, I've got 0 0.375 equals height of the image 1 divided by the height of the object, which I had seen it's 12. Therefore, height of the image 1 equals 0 0.375 times 12. And that gives me uh, 4.5, positive 4.5 centimeters and that will be positive. Now does it make sense it's positive? Yes, because the image is pointing upwards there. And also the value of the distance nine centimeters so less than the, the distance of the object. So that also checks out negative because it's before the lens. So there you go. I've just found out everything about uh, the first image. So 
let me write here, 4.5 centimeters. So moving forward to the second lens, so I've got here again the whole diagram. Uh, the tricky part will be linking the results of the first lens to the second lens. Now essentially that means one thing, is that from what we've just done, we need to figure out how much is the distance of the object to the second lens and also the height of the second object. Now, the height of the second object, that's the easy part. So let me write it up there. The height of the second object will be just the height of the first image. And that was 4.5 centimeters. So that was an easy thing. Now, the distance of the second object, however, has got a tricky part, which is there's an offset here, which is this distance between the two lenses. At this point, I know how much is this distance here. That's what we got before, a distance of image one. That's what we had as minus 9.375 centimeters. So how much is this image, this distance now? Well, I can see that it's this full length, and essentially it's this part here plus this part there. So I can see it will be 70 centimeters plus this distance here, which I can't really use as negative, needs to be just a positive. But, but I have a way of doing it. So it's just the, the 70 centimeters plus the 9.375 and that's 79.375. Now, once I've done this, I know everything about, uh, uh, everything that I need to go on and uh, do uh, solve things for the second lens. So if I simplify again, let me just get rid of all this, all the numbers, and just look at lens number two again. We just forget lens number one, and we've got a very simple system with a converging lens with a an object here for which we already know everything the height there the height and the distance so with that I can find information about the image so let's go and do that so as I said uh, information I've got on this side is uh, uh, distance now I'm going to it's the focal length first of the lens which is um, so this is converging it's plus 30 centimeters that's what we are given the distance of the object to that lens which as we saw is 79.375 um, positive because it's before the lens that's what we expect and also the height of this object which was the 4.5 centimeters that we also saw. And now the method is exactly, exactly like the other one. First, let's just focus on finding the distance of the image using the, um, the thin lens equation. One over focal length equals one over distance of the object plus one over distance of the image. That translates into one over 30 equals 1 over 79.375 plus 1 over distance of the image. 1 over 30, that's 0 0.03333 for decimals. 1.79.375, that will be 0 0.01260, OK, 60. Oh. So we got a point where we've got 0. Point 0 0.03333 equals 0 0.01260 plus dy2. Now I want to send this guy to the other side. It's positive, therefore it will come on that side as negative. 3 minus 0 0.01260 equals di... Sorry, I got this wrong. 1 over di2, 1 over the I2. So you see, we need to be careful with these things, very careful, because it's an equation with the uh, uh, with the inverses. Now, if I um, subtract these two together, I get 0 0.02073, 
positive, yes, uh, which means that distance to the image 2 will be 1 divided by this, 0 0.2073, and that is 48.24 centimeters. We are working in centimeters. So that, there you go. So we found the distance of the image to the second lens. It's positive, yes, because now I've got an image which is on the right-hand side of the lens. That's expected. Positive. Great. Next step is about, oh, wait, let me write here. So we've got here 48.24 centimeters. Now, next step is use the magnification factor. Again, the same thing. Magnification factor will be minus the distances, image divided by object and minus 48.24 divided, divided by 79.375 and this will give me uh, minus a 0 0.6077 that's, uh, that's the magnification factor negative magnification factor, no units and now the other equation, magnification factor as related with the the height image divided by object. So that means I've got minus 0 0.6077 equals height of the image divided by height of the object, which we had seen was 4.5. Therefore, height of the image will be just minus 0 0.6077 times 4.5, which is minus 2.73 centimeters. And that's it. Now, negative sign, does this make sense? Yes, because as you can see, the image is pointing downwards. So, And also the image is smaller than the object, which is again something we see, 2.73 smaller than 4.5. So that's it minus 2.73 centimeters. So if we go slow, we are able to uh, to solve everything. We just need to go slow, one at a time, and then be careful in the tricky part when we need to link the two, um, the two um, here, when we need to link the two lenses together. Make sure that we especially the distance of the object to, to the second lens, sorry, that it's properly done. Now, please try to do the same thing, solving question five from the worksheet. Essentially, the same thing, uh, just different numbers, and uh, the assignment will be something also quite, uh, quite similar. Once you're done with that, there's a stretch and challenge question if you want to do it, question seven. This one is actually, uh, quite different. It's two converging lenses, so it's kind of a challenge. Let's see who's able to do that. And that's it for the lesson. Um, please don't forget to upload your working out of the worksheet as pictures. There's the link. Do not forget to submit in the end the, the register to make sure that you are uh, marked uh, present in this lesson. Thank you.